talk about taking a flaming liberty. Oh, what's up now? Flaming Gary Mallet, that's what's up. Up a flaming ladder, cleaning our flaming windows. I know. I asked him to do them. You what? What for? Cos the windows, Les. You're supposed to be able to see through them. Let light in. It's like living in a flaming total eclipse in this house. Like living with one more like. Is that dim? Don't you read papers? Too many of them ultra watch it rays is bad for you. Oh, well, I suppose we'll just have to wear a suntan cream while we're watching telly in future, won't we? Anyway, listen, Toya's got some news for you. Oh, aye. What's she been up to now? I haven't been up to anything. She's going to be a bridesmaid. A bridesmaid? Oh, great. Who's getting married? Hey, I bet it's me cousin Billy, innit? Him and that exotic dancer with the ring through her. No, it's not. No? That's a pity. It would have been a right good do, that. Who is it, then? Brian Ailey. You what? You have got to be joking. No. Why? 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 Have you lost your memory, Janice? Or are you just plain daft? Because it's a couple of blokes, that's why. Oh, Les. Hayley's a transsexual. Whatever she used to be, she's a woman now. Just like me mum. You just be careful what you say about your mother. She has got nothing on her that's the same as, as that freak. Oh, come on, Les. Why don't you climb out of the dark ages? Hayley is not a freak. She's lovely. A freak is what I said. And a freak is what she is. And there's no way that you, Toya, or any other member of this family is taking part in a sideshow like that. OK? Can't do that, can they? Well, I'm not officially, no, but I mean, why shouldn't they? They love one another. Oh, don't say that. It's putting me off my scotch. Hey, it's not natural. I'm what? telling you, it's not. You'll have weirdos getting married to surgically enhanced pigs next. Oh, that is ridiculous. Well, I don't know some of the things these scientists are up to these days. No, that's right, that's right. Like growing a human ear on the back of a rat. It's creepy, if you ask me. Not half as creepy as turning a man into a woman. I mean, take that Frankenstein bloke. He's not half as bad as these wacko boffies we've got these days. Yeah, and who's paying for it all, eh? Oh, the taxpayer, right? Right waste of money. <clears throat> I mean, take these experiments, clone him. They take a cell out your body and make something that looks exactly yeah. like you. No way. Tell you. Hey, hey, that Star Trek, that is Star no, Trek. No, he's right, Les. They've already done it. Mm, an exact replica. Only they don't clone something that we'd all recognise, like, say, Melinda Messenger. Ooh, so we could compare <laughs> a pair of them, indeed. Yeah, no. <laughs> Flaming sheep, mate! <laughs> hey, well, perhaps that's who's gonna marry Alien Roy, eh? Dolly the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very funny. It's a sensitive young curate, as a matter of fact, a woman. Oh, oh. not even a proper vicar. <laughs> oh, I always said it was trouble putting a dog collar on a woman. Unless, of course, there was a lead attached to it. <laughs> well, remind me to wear one on Friday night for the rag trade, dude. <laughs> hey, do you know what? That's not a bad idea. <laughs>